in the chat, I just saw him. He's James Brown. He is James Brown. I was, Brown. oh my God. Is he? No, it's fantastic. <laughs> and my hat just goes off to him. I truly mean this. I do not know how he has done what he has done to prepare for this. It, I, I don't possess the skill to learn four different dialects over four periods of his life, makeup, dancing, and he has completely, completely embraced the look and feel and style of James Brown. Uh, tell us a little because he he was you know he had very different uh, he had a very rich life. Where do you start his life or how does it work? Is it chronological or you go? No, this this film will will not be told in a linear you know birth to death fashion at all. That's what we're really excited about. Um, my my goal is to change how biopics are viewed and made uh, with what we're doing on this one. But, but as far as his lifespan goes, we start off when he is about seven years of age, and we go up until 1993, in which he was 60. What would you say is the biggest misunderstanding that we all have about the Deep South? I know that you know you're, you were born in here in Mississippi. Or you what do you mean as far as producing a film here? No, or you mean uh, like story in wise? culturally? Um, I, I just think that a lot of the demons that the South has had, or still has, like all parts of the world have their demons, um, those who are living amidst those demons, you can either choose to be you know, beaten down by them, or they can shape you and make you work hard and strive for something better, and adversity does that. But also, there's a richness to the South. I mean, you just look at the, the great artistic minds that have come from here. I mean, just, just being in Mississippi alone, everywhere from Elvis Presley to Oprah Winfrey to James Earl Jones, Morgan Freeman, it's, and, and all of these people were born here and left for reasons. Some have come back. Uh, but we all have a piece, a piece of our history in us, and it makes you who you are. How, uh, uh, talk a little about the, the rest of the cast. I just saw Dan Acker, Nelson. Nelson. The, the yes. Nelson, yes. the kid from True Blood who yes. I love. Yes, yeah. So. Now, casting is, is just very, very important to me. Um, and uh, Nelson was in my last film, The Help, and he's just such a talented actor. I love watching him on True Blood. And, and uh, just his energy... That, that he possesses as an actor and a human just made him perfect to be Bobby Bird. Chadwick was just fantastic. I read some people. He came in, and Chadwick goes back to your previous question about being from the South. Chadwick is from rural South Carolina. And when we started talking about the part, he's like, this is my granddad. I know this. I know this. My parents still live there. So, so that really aided aided him and myself in, in, in realizing he was the, the man for the job. But we've got some, Dan Aykroyd, I'm just so thrilled to have him in this film. One of the, one of the films that inspired me the most as a youngster and wanted to be in this business was the Blues Brothers movie. And just the fact that James Brown himself was a part of that crazy, fun, anything goes film, and that's what we're making here, the idea of bringing Dan to play Ben Bart, James's manager, it just made it this wonderful, nostalgic, full circle. And um, plus, Dan is, as we know, immensely talented.